Today I'm going to tell you what to expect when you get out of a school if you're in school to do HVAC and you're trying to be a technician. Today I'm going to tell you what to expect, I'm going to tell you what a real technician is, and I'm also going to break the bad news about the business model and HVAC industry and how dealers work nowadays. Let's get started. So, let me tell you exactly what to expect from a contractor when you go to enter the field after you have learned how to be a technician and you leave school. What do you need to expect? Well, here's what you need to expect. When you go to work for somebody, they're gonna ask you this question. And let me, let me just be honest with you. This is all honesty, so get ready for it. If you don't like the truth, then hey, if you like it, then you got a decision to make by the end of this video. So here we go. When you go sit down with a dealer, or contractor, they're basically gonna ask you this question. They're gonna ask you how much money you wanna make. Why? Because it's all about money now. Because they've got these little packages they put together for homeowners. When you go to diagnose a unit, you got parts you can offer. When you go to sell a unit, you've got all kinds of accessories you can offer. It's all about making the money. It's the money game now. It's not about, hey, what do you wanna learn? And uh, what, what kind of career do you wanna focus on moving forward? What, 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 what kind of work ethic do you wanna build here? Um, we've got a lot of opportunity and you can get a lot of real good knowledge and experience. See, it's not about building knowledge and experience anymore. It's about building that bank, that paycheck. And what happens is, is we lose sight of what really was the the valuable asset that we could have had, which was good work ethic, experience, a high referral rate, being able to build a customer relationship because you're very personable and that customer trusts you. They, When they refer you, they go, this, this is the person I trust and I want them and them only and that's what it's about. Now, it's, hey, what can you sell? How much money can you make? Can we can we sell a unit instead of repairing it? And it, it's really crazy, but that's your first thing there. Now, let me tell you guys what a real technician is. A real technician is somebody, if they don't even know the problem, they're gonna try to fix that problem. They're gonna try to figure it out, okay? That's a real technician. A real technician is somebody who cares. They care about their level of work, and they want it to be pristine, top of the grade, professional looking, and they definitely want to be the person who's not just a parts changer and a little sales boy because that's the other side of this you see if you're not a real technician you're just a parts changer and you're a little sales boy that's all you know how to do you don't know how the equipment works or how to fix it or how to operate or how to commission it properly you just know how to sell something which really that's really anybody can do that okay a little baby can do that so you're pretty much a baby so let me just say a real technician is somebody who answers the phone who's there for the customer, who knows the answer. If they can't, if they, if they don't know it off the top of their head, they're gonna find it. If they don't know how to work on something, they're gonna figure it out. That's a real technician, okay? And we don't have a lot of those anymore. I'm hiring technicians every single day and they don't have an anometer. If you think you're a real technician, you're watching this right now, here's the question for you. Do you own an anometer? Do you know how much feet per minute should be coming out of the supply vents? Do you know how to calculate CFM on the return grill? Because if you install a unit that's three ton and it's rated for 1200 CFM and you can't tell me the CFM after you install the equipment, then you don't even know if it's pushing the rated capacity. You don't even know if it's working properly. So let me tell you, you don't know what you're doing and you're not a real technician. So, what have we talked about so far? We've talked about what to expect when you leave school and you enter the workforce. Uh, that's what to expect from your employer. If you get an employer like that and they're not worried about, hey, what you need to be learning and how to get further along in your career and then broaden your own opportunities, that's the wrong employer. I'm sorry. They're just caring about your money making and that's it. And that's not really going to lead you to success, my brothers and sisters. It's not. Okay? Building this up here is going to lead you to success. Okay? You don't believe me? Comment below. Let's have a conversation. Let's talk more. Okay. I went over what to expect. I went over what a real technician is. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about, well really I think that's about it for this video. To be honest with you guys, if you have any questions about this, comment below. If you think I'm wrong, comment below, tell me why. I'd love to engage and, and, and also I'd love to make sure that I can learn more. That's what this is about, learning more every day. Not learning less. If somebody's not focused on you learning more, you're, you're with the wrong person, okay? Make sure that you you pay attention, man. That, that's what this comes down to. You pay attention. Actually, I want to tell you this before I get off the video. There are people that beg to work with me for the company that I work for. 
and it, it's awesome because it's it's laid back it's no drama it's you worry about the work and that's it and that's how it should be you worry about the work you get the work done nothing else should be you know um, a high level priority just doing your job and that's it man uh, but now it, it's it's changed man it's hard to find anybody to work and if you find somebody to work they care about just prolonging the job. They care about just wasting time in between their calls. They don't really care about being the best and taking care of the call like they should have. You find them sleeping on the job. You find them, they can't change a motor. They, 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 they just don't have any willpower. They don't have any drive, man. There's so many technicians out there that just, they think they're real technicians, but they're not. They're not. So if you think you're a real technician, rewind the video. Go to that section where I asked you that question. Do you know how to do this? Because if you don't, you're not a real technician. Guys, this is a little bit of a rant here, and it's also a little bit of, you know, I want people to be aware. You know, when you come out of school, guys, it's just a quarter of it. It's just that's, you, you don't know anything, man. You got to start getting in the field and figuring out how this all works and how, you know, there's a lot really I can tell you, and I'll do that in another video. If you like this, definitely comment below and definitely subscribe. I need you to hit that like button. Why? So you can be notified. All right, let's go.